the, the beautiful thing about copper and what we talked about earlier is that copper in its natural form is a very effective very effective in terms of antimicrobial capability. Copper, because of its rapid ability to kill, okay, and infects the cells of, of viruses and bacteria at very fast and quick levels, doesn't allow for that super germ mentality to take place or that adoption of something to, to over time create that resistance like we see with, with we either talk about antibiotics and, and the constant revolving of strains. Copper doesn't allow for the time for that to happen. Jeremy West with Corning. I'm the Global Sales Director for the Guardian Program within EIT Corning. Alright, we've got a demonstration to showcase to you guys today with Copper Force, the ability for it to kill 99.9% .9 of all viruses and bacteria that come in contact with the surface within two hours. And we're also going to explain and talk about how the paint lasts for a period of six years. This bacteria will be introduced to two different paint swatches. And we'll explain the difference between the two after we get the bacteria on those surfaces. Okay, so we have two paint swatches. I'm going to set a timer that has been coated with a bacteria solution of a probiotic. I'll talk about why we use probiotic. The first swatch is a control. This is an any off-the-shelf paint. It's not copper force. It's a product that you can go buy that doesn't have any copper antimicrobial qualities to it. The second here is a Guardian-enabled paint, as I mentioned. I am the representative from Corning that manufactures the Guardian product that Bayer incorporates in their manufacturing process to produce copper force. This is our Guardian paint, our copper force here on the white swatch. This is our controlled non-copper force paint here on the box. Okay. Both of these swatches have been coated with a pipette level of 20 microliters of bacteria, encapsulated by the probiotic, a 60 billion part 10 strain biotic. The reason that we use the probiotic is that it's not a very simple bacteria to kill. It's utilized for digestive health and therefore when we take it into our bodies, it's gonna, it's gonna maintain itself at least for a time or a period to be able to perform the act of helping with our gut. Okay, so we have the spectrum here of easy to kill to hard to kill. And you can see that the bacteria that we're referring to are kind of in that medium range. So not a very simple to kill product, but rather a fairly difficult to kill bacteria. That's the reason why we use it and because it's safe, not something we have to worry about harming people in the city. Now, real quick, to talk about the technology itself. We utilize raw form of copper as part of the product. Essentially, it makes copper force what it is. The copper in its natural form is an extremely, extremely high level of antibacterial natural occurring material. It kills most everything it comes in contact with. 99.9% of that area almost affected immediately. Okay. According for a glass company, we manufacture glass, manufacture fiber optics. Covered glass, front and back for Apple, Apple and Samsung phones. And we also manufacture things as simple as auto glass or windshields for, for certain auto manufacturers. In our glass expertise, we have incorporated the use of raw copper into melting glass and glass sheets, which you see represented here on the table, broken down into finer pieces that we can later have milled into extremely fine pieces down to the micron level, powder called Guardian, which is what we provide to Bayer. And this is the actual product itself that Bayer utilizes to manufacture the copper force. The interesting thing about this copper force product and the Guardian technology is that it's not a response to SARS-CoV-2. One last thing about copper that we should know is that in its raw form is extremely expensive, especially in the building material aspects. So we talk about copper pipe, Copper wire used in Lomax and things to deliver electricity to residential and commercial and industrial facilities. It's extremely expensive. And in this 6x6 swatch represented here by the pieces of copper, what you see is the ability for just a fraction of that amount of copper in a can of copper force paint to cover the same area for a fraction of the cost, but also be able to give you the same killing power at 99.9% effectiveness. It's a really unique, very 
cost-effective way in terms of aesthetics as well to be able to incorporate thousands of colors that Bayer offers in a much more economic way. But the cool thing and the real reason for the demonstration is to showcase how and why this works. We have an ATP meter. This ATP meter essentially measures luminescence that living things give off. Much like the luminescence that you would find in a firefly while in the night, there's a reagent there that fireflies are able to give it that green hue that you see in that blink. We've incorporated a similar kind of reaction here in these cotton swabs, where we're going to take off as much bacteria from these swatches as possible and allow this meter to breathe. Okay? So we're going to take the first cotton swab and we're going to go to our control panel, which is a non-copper force. So we're going to swab up as much of that bacteria as we can. We put it back into the plastic tube. And if we crack the top, we're able to introduce that reagent we just discussed into the swab. This meter is going to take a 15 second reading. And it's going to give us a number to evaluate what it's read on the swab. We drop it in, we hit OK, you can see we're getting a 15 second reading. I will take the calculator just to record the number that we get after 15 seconds so that we're able to compare the difference that we get between the two. So here for the first reading, you can see that we get a reading of 8,457. You notice that this meter only reads four digits, so the highest number that it can evaluate is 9999. So obviously 8,457 is a very high number, giving us an indication we've still got a, a large amount of bacteria present on that first unit. So we're gonna to go to the second swatch, which is our Guardian Copper Force paint. Same process here. We're going to swab up all of the remaining bacteria that we can and evaluate what's left. Same procedure, crack the agent, we add, we shake, and we'll take another 15 second reading. Our first number is 8,457. For the non copper force. Mm -hmm. On our second reading, we get a number of 15. So if we subtract the difference between those two, you can see that's a difference of 8,442 units divided by our first number of 8,400. So we've got a 99.8% .8 kill of all the bacteria within four minutes. Okay. So our paint tells us that we can kill 99.9% .9 efficacy within two hours, but here we can demonstrate that we can kill bacteria at 99% efficacy within just a few months. Again, paint that works for six years, available in 2,000 colors, two sheens, high premium quality paint that offers the public anything they would want, find in a marquee level paint off the shelf as well. That's it. Well, hey, thank you so much for yeah, your time. You thank you very much. Really helpful. Appreciate it, guys.